Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. State Democrats focus on high-priority bills as legislature ravines. Lawmakers consider gun waiting periods and voting rights. The New Hampshire Legislature and Executive Council convened for the first time this year, Wednesday, as Democrats received top priority bills that were vetoed by Governor Chris Sununu. Democratic priorities include bills on voting rights and background checks and waiting periods on gun purchases. A lot of this was common sense legislation, and a lot of it was bipartisan, said Senator Majority Leader Dan Phelps. So, we're hopeful that even though Governor Sununu quadrupled the record number of vetoes with 57. We're hopeful there will be a different atmosphere in 2020. There's an added political dimish this year to almost every debate under the Golden Dome with Felt and Executive Counselor Andrew Levinsky running for the Democratic nomination for governor. I think the governor needs to be more collaborative in chief, Levinsky said. So Michael would be to talk to the counselors regularly and solicitate their suggestions both for nominations and for controlic approvals. This governor never asked any of us as far as I know. Faced with Democrat majority around the building. Sununu said he's not thinking about the impact on his re-election. Sure, we vetoed a lot of bills, but we also signed more bipartisan bills, I think, than even Governor Maggie Hassan ever signed in a given year, Sununu said. So, we got a lot of stuff done when we focus on the job and then you take care of the campaign when the campaign really kicks into gear. In an election year, everyone is under the spotlight in Democrats who walk into office in the blue wave of 2018 might be closely watched, especially those who won in red districts. And that does it for my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye, everyone.